Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching CPP Nuts video series on array interview question series and this is about sub array with given sum. So this is very important question. So this is your array and the whole idea is you have this sum given as 13. Now the point is you have to find the first occurrence I should say that summing those numbers would result in 13. So if you will see this 10 plus 2 is 12 and then 10 plus 2 plus 3 is 15 which is greater than 13 so we cannot have this this and this combination. So this is the idea. Now there are two ways to do this. I mean there are many ways to do this. So the first and very basic way is you just select the starting index and run for all the elements and just try to see where you are getting that number. And once you exceed that number obviously you just break that loop I mean the inner loop and then you increment this counter further and then you start from here 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 and here so in second iteration you will see okay if it is matching I mean if the sum of these arrays are going to be 13 then you have the answer otherwise you will say okay now this is the starting and then you will start from this guy this guy and this guy so this is a two for loop approach and this is going to be an square we can see this the possibility is first time you will go for n and then you will go for n minus 1 and then n minus 2 and then it will go till 1 and then if you will sum this it is going to be n into n minus 1 divided by 2 which is going to be n square so this is the first approach I'm not going to implement this approach I'll just erase this now we have a better approach and the better approach is you select the starting point and then you go further like first you will check if this is the number like if 10 was written then this is the number so you will return 1 and 1 so you are supposed to return the index so in that case 1 and 1 would be the answer let's suppose uh, this was 12 then the answer would be 1 and 2 so you will return 1 comma 2 meaning in given array from index 1 to 2 you have your total sum but in our case it is not 12 it is 13 so as I said you will say okay this is my current and then you will keep on moving and you will have a kind of a window so let's say you have the first window this one so this is not the number you will increase the window now you will consider this as the window meaning you will have this index plus this index number and try to find out if it is sum no it is not you will further increase this window now here is the catch now it increase the number now it is 15 and we were looking for 13 the point is you will discard this now you will say I will not start from here I will start from here and then you had this window right I mean like total including 10 now you will have this window and obviously you will go for this number and obviously you get this in the second jump only but you got the point right like you will fix the starting point and increase the window till this window elements sum is less than this if it is less than this you will keep on incrementing the window size once you found out that okay it is not equal but it is greater than the sum then you will discard the first element and you will increment that window again so let's look at the code now but before going there let me quickly say that to handle this window like I am just telling you the window but in order to actually create this window you need a start pointer so we will say you will need s or start initially you will initialize them with 0 and 0 you would have noticed that okay I am keeping this index from 1 you can keep it with 0 also no problem so this is like a typical two pointer problem so now let's look at the code so this is your program we have the array exact same elements and we are saying that okay sum is 13 we'll pass this to the driver function here we'll do all the magic okay so as I said start and end is initialized with 0 so this is your window and we have this current variable to track okay what is the current actual window sum and the logic goes like this we have only single for loop for going ahead and this is also a loop but this loop will actually decrement the start pointer because the current sum is actually greater than the actual sum so you will have to remove the starting elements right like I told you from left to right you will decrement the start pointer so that you will keep on moving that window I think this is fairly simple code we have current is if current is greater than or equal to sum then only we'll do all these things otherwise we'll just keep the starting index as one and just keep on adding at the current variable so this is the best approach you can uh, go for this this you can consider saying that okay this was a sliding window problem but this problem can be asked indifferently if if we have negative numbers in this so if 
negative numbers are there then this is not going to work and how we'll deal with negative numbers for that you'll have to watch a next video so i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next videos bye bye take care